break. While many of you enjoy the fruits of your labor on this Labor Day, we thought we'd show you a group of workers who never rest. Well, that's because they spend the day <laughs> cleaning up after the rest of us in some not so pleasant places. Brian McElhat went on to the story, and I yes. talked to him about it, and he just he was telling me the dirty details. Oh yes, these are true unsung heroes. Take a look. Whether you do this, this, or this, it all ends up down here. And over time, these pipes get cracked, clogged, and blocked. Um, do you want it to stop right at the manhole? That's Alexander Rojo. He leads a crew whose unenviable task it is to clean Glendale's 700 miles of sewer lines. As you can imagine, the crew sees some pretty strange things down there. Oh, plastic bottles, uh, toys. We retrieved some uh, false teeth for a gentleman. Found a class ring from 1966. And the list goes on, but it all begins when a high pressure hose is lowered underground to scrape out the pipes. Then all that nasty muck is vacuumed out. We, we call him the judge. This is the judge. This thing just moves everything out of the way. And once the judge makes his ruling, it's time for the camera crew to review the case with a robot that crawls through the underworld looking for damage. We seen some uh, snakes down there. Uh. Mike watches the video from above, steering the mechanical eye down the pipe. No damage found today, but if this was the only crew, it would take 17 years to video every pipe. It's a big job, and boss Mark Fortcamp offers perspective. Starts from the from the cleaning crew all the way to uh, the repair of the pipe, and everybody in between makes a difference. Can you judge a man by what comes down his pipe? You can't. No. You Even can't. though you might want to? That's sometimes. <laughs> a few good men making sure any bad pipes don't cause a stink. Brian McElhatton, ABC 15 News.